for a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more. You're listening to the BCC Podcast. It is Thursday, November 30th of 2017, and you are listening to episode 130 of the BCC Podcast. I'm Malaris, and joining me today is a short staff but lovely crew. I'm joined with Orion. How are you doing, Orion? Um, well, good, I guess. I almost got fired today, sort of. I'm good though. Not from the BCC, but from my other job. <laughs> Had to do with with skateboards and water fountains, but maybe more. Uh, maybe no, more you on can't that just later. leave it like that. <laughs> good clickbait. I'm also joined by Mace. Hello, everyone. I have not almost been fired. In fact, I have a bucket of commendations to my right. Accommodations. Yes, many accommodations. Put in paper form. <laughs> and I'm also joined by Kalenda. I, in contrast, have no other job. I'm an unemployed scrub. <laughs> so, what's a BCC then? <laughs> so, just I'm, basically a basket no of deplorables job. here today. <laughs> <laughs> So, Orion, how how were you almost fired? You have to tell us now. I um, I came into work, but I had forgot to look in the mirror before, and I was dressed in the chef outfit. Oh, no, 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 I wasn't. I made it up. Actually, I wasn't. I wasn't almost fired. Another employee almost got fired. They were smoking, uh, something in a hot tub. Um, <laughs> and the employees aren't allowed to use the hot tubs at the place I'm at. So that that was why. I just slightly, I just that slightly altered the story. That more questions than it answers. But <laughs> yeah, why did that sound more fake than the first story? Why, why is it more believable that I forgot to take off the chef outfit when I went into work than? Because you some... were really tired. Because <laughs> of the things you did that would with be that worse chef than the, that, that. That's what I do when I black out. I just go around terrorizing people dressed as up the as the chef. Same Gordon Ramsay does the same thing. Oh, yeah. But see, he's awake when he does it. Are you sure about that? His eyes are very squinty. He could be unconscious. But you know what is squinty, though? We have... Uh, how, do I, how do I work that into the, the set? Orion, you see, Ford's you know not here, so we don't have to do the Ford transitions. It's a moment of freedom. That. Is that what we're gonna you have to squint now? not to see how good this set is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, thank you for That's saving That's the best it, I got. Mace. So I guess let's see. There's no so, police, so we're good. So since Orion killed the complete smooth segue, let's go downtown to the downtown diner. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> It was better than so, mine. To be fair, we do not have much material. Apparently. We are not from the 1950s. <laughs> it's, it's literally so, saddening. So basically, we've got a new modular building in the downtown diner. And that's set number 10260. And I have to say, I'm really excited for this. Like... Overall thoughts, it's just awesome. I wish I, I like, could buy it. I like, um, don't you don't see the color pink in a lot of stuff outside uh, really girly sets or whatever. I appreciate pink when it's done in a neutral setting like this. It, uh, but it's salmon uh, it looks, colored here. It's what? Well, here it's either salmon or rose. Because that's what it's called when it's neutral. Ah. Uh, that's that's an girl, excellent it observation. Would be pink. Well, all right, well, 
I like the color, uh, the the blue color. But no, the mm. but I like I like the color pink. You don't see it a lot. You're used very well in sets, I think. And I like that they'd used it in this setting because it's not something you'd normally see. I think the pink is actually the reason why this is a different, more special looking set. Because, you know, usually you just see this in like a normal diner, like a red uh, neon or, you know, just a normal sticker sign or something. I think this is, sticker sign. this is one of the more unique aspects of it. I think it looks very solid. I think it's well done. And let, let's you know not forget the minifigures. These things are awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the yeah. roller skates. That's just. Have we ever gotten roller skate? Um, Only in the collectible before? minifigs. Because I think this is just this oh, is a great Harley. set. Like, um, yeah. If I wasn't too much into Lego, I'd say this is, would be one of. If I bought it, I, there's like a good shot of it being one of my favorite sets just by looking at it. Actually, just because I like. I actually I really love the color pink. <laughs> <laughs> no it really captures well, that you know older aesthetic mm-hmm. yeah it's cool how they have those little slash tiles to well, you got the bacon the, the jukebox you got the uh the the hairstyles as well the was it the slick the greaser look or whatever mm-hmm yeah you got definitely a studio he's obviously supposed to be elvis I think. Yeah. No, he's not Elvis. Not Elvis. That's. That's just. Are you sure he looks no, like Elvis? No, that's just how people me. dressed back then. People back then had a lot <laughs> yes, more swag. Yes, including Elvis. <laughs> that's true. That that is true. Um, no, <laughs> I'm not really impressed guy. by this. Yeah, I'm definitely like a fan of the set. Like the color schemes. Like Orion said, that pink really uh, pops. And then right next to the teal it just it definitely reminds me of like 40s 50s kind of vibe that was going for and i really think that's a great kind of era to go for it's not really done in lego that much and i like that era kind of just the way everything looked so vibrant and well just, just everything feel like looked a bit more uh, solid and soft, not soft, but just more um, less harsh on the eyes, less sharper corners. This set is like, a, mm-hmm. you know, the, that kind of very simple, very, um, you know, also the, the boxer, awesome. That's mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> the, with his I don't know mustache. why, but the boxer looks. I feel like I've seen someone in real life just like him, only <laughs> not like a minifigure. I hope. I don't I don't know where. I like looking through celebrities with. I'm feeling like I've seen this guy before, but I can't find it. I, I wouldn't so, be able to tell you. But I'm sure he represents somebody. I, I Because it's, you know, period settings. I don't, I don't know if it'd be anyone from now that they'd be representing, but. Uh, yeah, some old the, person. What about. an old actor. Maybe I probably not. It's probably just a boxer. I I think I like the glove pieces though. They're not really pieces, right? They're just you know attachments. You know the hands. That's mm-hmm. really they're the hands, yeah. They're hands. Imagine mm. if you if <laughs> that this man must have a horrible life. These are what his hands are. He can't <laughs> grab anything. He can't touch anything. He's got the same problem as you know the sand people. He's just like forever, you know, touchless. Like he goes you to know, like in the morning to brush his teeth. He like punches himself in the face. <laughs> you know, he goes to hug someone. He actually knocks him out. <laughs> this is a tragic. Hey, Mal, this is a great idea for a Mal story video. You got the tragic <laughs> boxer. Yeah. <laughs> Edward Boxer yeah, yeah. hands. That, that would be fun to do, <laughs> honestly. And speaking of the minifigures, like, with their faces and everything, a lot of people are complaining that the classic uh, smile face has been gotten rid of with the new printed faces. I and do not have a problem with that. <laughs> same. I mean, I like the classic faces and all, but come on, these are great new prints, and I mean, would the mustache guy be the mustache guy without the mustache? No. No. Of course It not. wouldn't be that guy that Mal recognizes from somewhere, but can't place his finger <laughs> on where. <laughs> 
he wouldn't be the same deformed boxer and guy. The set but, has so yeah. much character. Why shouldn't the faces too? Mm-hmm. You know, this really There's a lot of character in the building. This really makes me wish like Lego would do like a one-off thing and do um, like a Blade Runner set or something, just like the the pink. <laughs> That, I think that would look awesome. <laughs> but no, that's never going to happen. Yeah, that's never going to hey, happen. Get a Lego idea set started. That's your oh, best yeah, bet. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's oh, your best yeah, bet. The... Someone does it? I'll go get my uh, my Duplo and Play-Doh ready, and I'll just go. <laughs> I'll go to work. <laughs> Play-Doh? Yeah, Play-Doh. Because that will work. <laughs> Play-Doh always works. Play-Doh does fix everything. It's kind of like duct tape that way. Don't. Don't make me say, speaking of Plato. <laughs> speaking of Plato, have you heard about those Greek philosophers? No, that's a good segue. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> One other great thing, though, is that obviously the um, it's layered. You can take the layers off as far as I can see, understand at least. Um, mm-hmm. Luke has gotten yeah, better about doing can. that. Um, so that's... Because what what it allows you to do is you can actually create multiple scenes at once and stack them on top of each other, instead of having to mm-hmm. like separate the set or reconfigure the set, uh, you can actually just have it all happening at, at once inside the same building. Um, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. I love how like detailed everything seems to be about it. Like uh, on the grill top, there's like heat settings. And fake uh, I think bacon. those are just like speedometers, but. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. They got bacon. They got pancakes. pancakes. Like they got ice cream. They just got like everything, and it's really just they got cool ice cream to. On pancakes. It's just cool to see. Like it's just nice to look at everything within the set. Like there's a recording studio in one of the floors. Why? I don't know, but it's really cool and it works. Like. That's the thing about this. It all really meshes together. I don't know. It's just it really... It flows really well, for lack of a better term. It's very congruent. I'm not sure what the word is for it. Well, in the picture where they line it up against all the other sets, it's like you can tell this is the one that you would see the most of, and it's because of that pink as well. Mm-hmm. Because all the other sets look kind of boring compared to it. You know, you got your browns and grays, and then over here you got your teal and pink. <laughs> That's just amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Another thing is obnoxious. like, oh wait, okay, you want you want detail. I like the uh, the open and close sign and the gems on the uh, glass door. That that's yeah. good. <laughs> that's some good stuff. And they put a lot of heart into this set. Kind of building off what you just said, Ryan. Like with the yes, this really pops out among the other buildings, but I don't think it's just because of the pink. I think it's the brick built sign. Saying diner yes, with the pink, really cool. of course, okay. like yeah, because no, the sign's actually made of pink, that. right? Yeah, but <laughs> well, it also it, just um the overall shape of the building. I think the the rounder portions because all the other ones are very square looking. This has mm-hmm. that um like the was it right by the diner sign? You have that warped edging, the the round circumference mm-hmm. around the building, and then you have the yeah rounded off like, top it just looks such like such a friendly little set mm-hmm. whereas like it, if you if really you fell well time period it's if you through. fell on top of you know the one right next to it you'd probably like kill yourself on accident just by impaling on <laughs> you know it doesn't look like a comfortable <laughs> set <laughs> it's a homey set it's cute yeah it even comes uh, with a little car <laughs> yay which is That's not common car. for a modular they don't come with it vehicles. really is not. I mean, the other one that immediately springs to mind is that winter set that had the train, but I don't even think the train is with that. Mm-hmm. I like how the car is basically the same size as a, a floor of space. <laughs> it's like the, the proportions are still kind of messed up, but... They've never had good vehicular wow. proportions ever, and I don't think yeah. they ever will. It's hard to do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> But, yeah, still, like, a nice build to the car. It mm-hmm. definitely looks good, like, despite being, how did you say, um, size of a four? <laughs> what, what was well, that? Maybe it's a but, well. supercar. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it also just goes well with the sign. <laughs> I, the think. If, I think if you um if, if you actually took the car away. <laughs> I, I think the set would actually lose some appeal just because because yes. you don't have and enough then you drown. to go with it. Like what? <laughs> like if you took the car away, what you'd have to do is you'd have to incorporate pink into a minifigure. I think. Like if um, <laughs> like if like I feel like if you took the car away, I don't know if the diner would look the same uh, or feel the same in the set box or just like the, the, the color scheme as well. You'd have to get a minifigure in like a pink suit or something. Well, I mean, like, the first dude with, like, the greaser hair kind of has a pink undershirt, but that's, like, about it. Yeah. Or you could alternatively make him, and like, actually Elvis, and then give him, like, a pink <laughs> uh, jumpsuit or something, you know? Mm-hmm. But I like, I like the set too it is. I, think it's, I think it's good the way it is. It's a it's a great set. I feel like the the sets we're going over this podcast are going to be some really good ones. I kind of like the lineup here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Like overall thoughts, basically, it's a good set for everyone. Nine out of ten would pink again. <laughs> <laughs> Do we see how you know much cool? this set will be? Um, it's one hundred and seventy. So that's uh, um, yeah. euro or dollars. <laughs> it's 170 uh, bucks. Yeah, 170 dollars. Oh, US. Uh, dang it. Oh boy. That's not bad for uh, modular bad, building. But... Yeah. Especially like one this unique, I guess. It's yeah. the... lots of different printings, like with the see, see, rounded out window. There's that part of me, though, it's like. I mean, it's a good price for something that unique, but then the part of me is thinking, well, I could get something, you know, maybe bigger than this for 170 something dollars. <laughs> but it's like you're not getting the size for your dollar, but you're getting the customization for it. So it's kind of a trick of the mind. You don't get more quantity for it. over quality, yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. But it's kind of hard because quality it's not quality. an especially big set, or at least not the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, but it does look bigger when they stand it up next to the other modulars. Mm, yeah. So, I don't know. I'd, I'm probably not ever going to even own it, but I really like <laughs> looking at it, and I think it's a good set, and I definitely would recommend it to people who have the money to buy it. If I'm ever spending I'm really almost 200 on a Lego set, you better believe I'm getting the Slave 1 or the Ghostbuster Firehouse instead. No offense to this. <laughs> well, it, only if it's from the reboot, yeah. No. <laughs> Luckily, they didn't make a firehouse wow. for that horrid reboot. We only got I, one like, for the... I really want to talk about the uh, the architecture set, though. Ah, All yes. right, then let's oh, yeah. move right on to the LEGO Architecture Shanghai 21039. Because I'm a, I'm a giant <laughs> weeb, and I, uh, I really like this. <laughs> Like it's not it's not overly complex, but I the curvy um, the curvy tower here. I'm not I can't remember what the name of it is. One of the tallest towers. Um, the, yeah. There's a list of what each. Let's see what is list it. Is. The Shanghai Center Building. I think that's what it is. Uh, isn't yeah, it one of the? It it's one of if not the. He... I think it's the tallest building in the world, right? Um, I think so. Quite yeah. or at least it, it was at, it's it was at one point. Up there. I'm sorry. Um, I know someone recently. Well, not recently, but you know. In, at some point in time, <laughs> built one that was taller than the Empire State Building, and I think it might have been this one. Well, but then again, well, I don't wait, know anything, Mace, so maybe I'm wrong. Mace, the hmm? Empire State Building, though, that's been outdone, like, that was a while ago. A lot. I, well, yes. I, recently, as in, in terms of its, like, over 100-year life, not in terms what? of 2017 recently. Well, like, for a long time it was champion, but then... Yeah, Within the couple was... of decades or so, it's been overdone, and I think it's this might be the, the second. Ones. It's the second tallest tower right now. Yeah, okay. and I think this one might be the number one. Wait, the no wait wait which one's the second tallest? This one, the Shanghai Center. Uh, building? the Shanghai Tower second building. Yeah, is uh, oh, okay. yeah no second Mace, largest the, the Empire one. State Building is outdone by like half of the skyscrapers in uh, in the city actually. Yikes. <laughs> I got so, some tall so, buildings. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, but, these skyscrapers really don't look that tall until you compare them to the temple build over here, and then they just feel massive. 
Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just looks so clean, though. I really mm. like these clean, it really is. simple. I'd... How much is this set? It's, um, um, does it have a price? I don't think they released a uh, price. I'm not yet. seeing a price here. Because, like, that's, if it's but... not too expensive, that'd be something cool just to, like, you know, not really play around with it, just have on display somewhere, just, like, on a shelf by, yeah, it's, by an open window. It's definitely a or display. not by an open window, but, mm. um, but yeah, it just looks great. Uh, again, the color schemes on point. Uh, we got some pink as well. That's great. Uh, <laughs> oh, it just looks real nice. I, if I were to guess on the price of this set, maybe sixty, considering other architecture uh, skylines that they've done. Well, let's see. It's but five hundred and ninety-seven pieces. Uh, you think sixty? Sixty sounds right. I don't know. I'd say 50. Maybe a bit more, but like. Okay. Yeah. I was hoping for something closer to 40, but that's not likely. No, no. At all. Like, especially with like his uh, other skylines, which are yeah. have less. So exactly. this has more. I'm it's saying in a perfect gonna... world, but. <laughs> There's no. Not after this nice. last wave of Ninjago sets, there is no perfect world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. Ooh. You have to take the shot. Yeah, I had to. Whack. Um, yeah, I'd buy it if it was the right price. If Shanghai was, you know, personal to me, I'd probably get it. But as it is, I have no connection to the city itself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a good set, but... any Anyone who's got a thing for China, there we go. Mm-hmm. Hey, Donald Trump would general. love this set. Yeah. China! <laughs> I guess that's it, though, for this. That, yeah. It looks good. It's, yeah. And that's pretty much all like we have for this segment as well. Up next, we are going to be talking about more lego creator sets and possibly 60 years of the lego brick so stick around for that want to join in on the discussion join the bcc crew discord server link is in the description below And welcome back to the BCC Podcast. In this segment, we're going to be going over the LEGO Creator 2018 sets, and we're probably also going to be talking about the LEGO Brick Set Free um, 60 Years thing pamphlet. Amazing. Nailed it, man. Uh, 60 years yeah. of Lego Lego set that will be available at Lego stores with a purchase of $125 this December. Yeah. I just don't know how to phrase that whatsoever in a short, concise manner. Okay, but... Uh, it's done now. Let, yeah. We should look at the sets on Creator. I'm gonna just say it. Overall, these look pretty good good for the most part and starting very strong we have the mythical creature set 31073 mm -hmm. we got a balrog oh, yeah. we got shelob and we got a troll <laughs> and they all look horrible <laughs> you know this bottom guy this troll this that is jala inaika look at him that oh is jala it look it actually looks more like vakama Vakama? True, but he doesn't have the color scheme. Well, like Hordika Vakama. No, no, no. You pronounce it Vakama. Yeah, I heard Greg pronounce it like that on a uh, audio book uh. once. He says... Well, Greg doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> well, it's either Vakama Greg. or Vakama or whatever. I always called him Vakama. Vakama. But yeah, yeah I totally see what you're saying. Uh, the, yeah. Vakama, the Greg Farshti deity calls him Vakama. What are we well, Vacuuma to... sounds stupid, so it's obviously the comma. Well, maybe it's Vacuuma. <laughs> oh, really? You think it sounds dumb, huh? 
<laughs> well, Onua and Anua sound stupid. Uh, Anya on. sounds the dumbest. Anya. <laughs> Boy, What's I can't wait to throw that things? joke on ya. Ha! Oh, my God. oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That was almost stupid enough not to be funny. Anyway, this one looks like Vakima, so I don't really like it too much. Mm, I think it looks like Jello and Nika. It looks just like Jello and Nika to me. <laughs> looks like it. No, I kind of want this. Just it so looks I like Jailer and Nika, so I don't really like it much. Inica. It looks like Jailer and Nika. My favorite. This, this looks like Matoro, who's dead, so that's why it looks horrible. Yeah, it looks like Matoro's red and golden soul. This, lo- th- this looks like Order 66. That's how bad it is. He but looks Order like 66 a was great. Picasso of Matoro's pain. Um, yeah, it's okay. Anyway... The uh, Sheila the build is good, spirit. though. This is what I she like saw spider. when she looked into it. Well, I mean, it's nothing yeah. compared like to the actual Shelob, though. I own that set. It's a great That's set. That's an excellent point. I own it, too, yeah. Yeah, so it's but, like, this is... It, it looks too chunky and disjointed. I mean, the color scheme is great, but I just think it just looks too unpolished. Yeah, the colors are really what kind of just makes it really cool. As a spider? Like, like the colors on all these sets that we're looking at are like really fantastic. I think it just on this one yeah, yeah. here, it just looks too unfinished. The stud, like if they could have done something with the studs, it just looks too rough. <laughs> well, maybe it's supposed to look a little rough after all the smooth, yeah, like Matoro Lego that we've been died. getting. That's <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, he looked a little rough. <laughs> wow, yeah. Ooh, still I feel too like soon. Yeah. Uh, I, don't I mean know. the dragon build that's looks kind of sturdy, bit bulky for my taste. Like, it looks so bulky, but then it has a tiny little tail. I just, uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> his legs are very stubby, and on yeah. that point, his wings are stubby too. He's just got stubby limbs altogether. The stubster. <laughs> yes, he is the study stub. That's his official dragon name. None of the other dragons let him in the dragon games. Can I just say I actually really like the spider? Yes, thank you. No, you can't. No, you can't. (laughs) Yes, you can. I I actually quite enjoy the spider's appearance. Yes, the spider is the best out of the three. I I do want that set for the spider. Because it's a nice spooder. That's that photo would look great with Bionicle, and it would, I just think it'd be good with that. I could just put that spooder next to my skull spooders. Hmm. <laughs> I will get him, and I will put my ten Spider-Man mini pigs on him, and I will make them eat somebody alive. Probably Green Goblin. Uh, are you looking revenge. at sp- Are you looking at Spooderverse? <laughs> By yes, I'm looking at my ten Spoderverse photos that I have inside of a bank on top of my I desk. Spoderverse. I really enjoyed it. We're getting off track. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but, um, are we done with this set? I Am I using mean, the Spoder? If there's like... Unless Orion really wants to talk about Vakama Hordika. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. You're just messing it up. Vakama. Yeah. Vacuum Horduk. Vacuum Horde mode. Hodoka? Vacuum Hodor, yeah. <laughs> next, next up, we have from the island of Hordo? The, uh, that neon car from the opening of Cars 1 that pushed uh, that <laughs> truck off the road and was responsible for the entire reason why Lightning McQueen became a hero. Uh, um, that's Speed Racer. Yep. No, it's that not. was Speed Racer. <laughs> Nailed it. So up next is a set Rocket Rally Car, Which is number also 30174. It's got lime green, it's got light blue, it's got white, and it's got black, and it's got good ratios of all. This Wait, is basically lime Mace not blue. Just a car. <laughs> Let me tell you. That is this light is blue. Mace has a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are all my colors. I'm having the light blue, but... Yeah, that... that Mace those is are blue Mace's blue color colors. scheme. It is. Even down I to the blue. I did not know that. I learned something new today. Uh, I think it looks okay. Again, kind of chunky looking. But uh, uh, the colors like really sell the car. Boat. I really like all the teal pieces that we're getting. So. Now, I wish... I like the... 
I wish that one of the three wasn't a car, that it was something a little more unique, but... Like a boat. Like a, like a boat. <laughs> like a boat. No, like a I boat hate boats. Hovercraft. Like, boats it's never boat. stand up straight. That's... Boats don't fit with your space, guys. They don't fit with the cars. They don't fit anywhere. Boats it's have no place. It's horrible because it's not like you can even use boats, Lego boats, in a practical setting because they don't make Lego water. They make Lego roads, but mm-hmm. you, like, you can't ever really use a boat. Mm-hmm. It's frustrating. Exactly. Ground, that's that's ground, air, and sea. Ground and air can coexist together. You can't have a car in the water or a spaceship going in the water. You can't have a boat in the sky <laughs> yes, or can. a boat on land Wait. unless it's a cool well, boat. Well, no, no, no. Ninjago said we could have a boat in the sky. So. Wait a second. You yes, can't have a spaceship underwater. Everyone knows that. <laughs> that's true, but it's they weird to have your Millennium Falcon be underwater, underwater with the sure Aquarius. No, don't don't Come say on, that JJ is Abrams is gonna listen in and make notations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the porgs are aquatic and they crash the falcon into the water planet. Oh and stop. Then... <laughs> and then Chewie porgs needs to inject what? porg DNA into his arm. Off. Just and Chewie becomes the Chewy Porg hybrid. Porg Baka. And then no, he becomes amphibious. No, they'll actually just rip off the uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land crash from uh, the Lego movie. They'll blow up another Death Star, and then they'll fall into an ocean. And, you and know, then Chewie and the rubble. Porgs will build it into a vehicle to escape. Yeah, right. Exactly. I mean, I'm all for the Porg discussions, but like, you can just tell how little there really is to say about this set. <laughs> yes. Because we're is that attractive or cheap about... as one of its other forms? <laughs> Um, Don't truck. I have no idea. It's kind of tractor y. We'd all buy it if it they just had a look port very driving it. Much like a tractor with like an engine strapped on the back. Yeah. They say more of They've a got jeep. a van. Yeah, that's an that. ATV, that one with the little engine on the back. And okay. let's see. Then we that's got a, a big tow ATV. truck underneath it, I think. I could be wrong. I uh, often you, am. It's <laughs> some kind of truck. Yeah, exactly. It's some kind of truck. I can't figure out what it is exactly. I think it, sure. it only has one good combination, like and that's the car. Maybe like, it's, it looks like it's kind of based on an 18-wheeler, but it's not. It's weird. I think it's actually just, I don't, I'm not yeah, sure, but I think I mean, it's actually just not a, much more to say about this guy. based on a tow truck. No, yeah, really. Yeah, love the colors, but. Yeah, so up next, next. Ugh. I love Nestle. We have the Sunshine Surfer Van. Set number mm. 31079. A.K.A. Yeah, the hippie cool. van. <laughs> Good set. Yeah. It's a mystery it machine. Have any flowers on it. it is a mystery machine. <laughs> it's a mystery machine and everyone's incognito. Yes. Scooby Doo is a like, soft uh, board. I like how Shaggy the grill, the grill looks like a waffle iron. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it, it is a waffle iron. You gotta you got make some beach waffles out there. This is a good set, you know, detailed, cool minifigures, at least for the most part, you know? Yeah. And look at those I, I, I feel like the van should have mm-hmm. a logo or something on it, though. Like, it's missing it's a... one, it's missing something. But the combinations missing, themselves but... are great, I think. It's got good mm-hmm. combinations. Yeah, that? look at that little beachfront thing and the yeah, big, like giant that's... call yeah. for the two. That's really creative. Mm-hmm. Like, I would yeah, have the... thought of those three being one set so this is actually very good in the three and one regard you really do get your money's worth of that it, the it is ultimate very much three builds, different sets they're just great like i just love how diverse like each alternate build really is like, exactly yeah they should have very all just creative. been boats <laughs> <laughs> thankfully not a single one is a boat Thank yeah, they managed a, I hate boats. They managed a beach one without a single boat. I, I like boats, just not Lego ones when they try and do it again and again. You know what my problem <laughs> is, though? And it's not with the set. I can think of It's several. with the really horrible background. Like, that's that's a really bad background, I think. That's Look how lazy point. that palm tree is. All the backgrounds is. lately have been in that art style. Like, I don't think it looks that great. Yeah, well, it I looks mean... like an unfinished Capri Sun logo. <laughs> That's what the <laughs> like. It doesn't look good. You're well, right, though. <laughs> but it looks, it looks like it looks like someone forgot to add the the other colors you, or the but... textures. It's just an unfinished Capri Sun um, <laughs> commercial, basically. Well, that's going to be the lawsuit of the century when Lego gets sued for appropriating it. 
new with our <laughs> Lego Creator sets. Uh, make waffles on the beach while you drink Capri Sun. Capri Sun. <laughs> uh, Capri and then, Sun flavored waffles. Yeah. But uh, like other than that, though, pushing the it? set, the set itself, I don't really have a big complaint about it or anything. It just feels kind of uh, like it might be missing one thing. And I'm not sure what it is, but this the combination sets themselves are excellent. Especially the water, they have enough blue pieces to simulate that little patch of water there, and that that looks good. That is nice. Mm-hmm. See, that's where you use your Lego boats, all on that tiny patch of water. <laughs> take turns. Yeah, now yeah, I can take like all up. all twenty five of my Lego Coast Guard sets and just mash them <laughs> into this little square. It's like, thank you, Lego. <laughs> Pack them up into the sky like a Scooby Doo sandwich. What is it with Lego and boat combinations and then the Coast Guard stuff? I don't know what, what's up with that. Boats are so much easier to do than anything else because it's just a vaguely roundish, squarish shape. You know what's easy for Does me to do? Like Not spend boat? money on boat sets. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I do not like boat sets at all. They never stand up straight. Have you noticed that? They always tip to uh, the left or the right. Yeah, I that, always that's weird put them because in water, you'd think, but... you know, Lego is for display, a lot of display value, and you know, and making, you know, they've kind of moved on from like, I feel like Lego has really moved on from just oh, it's a toy. Now you, it's so much more versatile than that. But you'd think they'd make their boats to where you can display them easier than just setting them on their side. Because now all of your boats look like they just got beached. Doesn't look flattering at all. Mm-hmm. So do you think that they should start selling them with like a prop thing so that it can either either with a well I'd like I'd prefer that because I don't really want my boat to have like a really cop out like flat piece on the bottom. It'd be really nice if they had a a simplistic looking set Uh, or just like a simplistic looking, you know, something you could put it onto. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. The next um, set is actually really similar to this and how the combinations are really interesting. I, I think you got kind of the yellow. The background kind of looks like uh, whatever the opposite of a pre- Capri Sun commercial is. <laughs> pre chill. Yeah, the set we're talking about is a Winter Vacation 31080. And mm-hmm. so I'm weirded out by the fact that they built a building on a ski resort that has their windows as little roll like ramps because like imagine you're just going to look out the window oh what a lovely day and you just hear thud 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 (laughs) (laughs) as they keep on just having people pass through or it's not even part of the mountain it's actually just well no there are flags on it this is horrible (laughs) yeah you you're on vacation you burst open the windows and enjoy the cool thud 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 oh there goes your head don't just skeet over it well all i can think is someone goes to the window the music swells and they're about to burst into song when someone goes (laughs) sorry i mean at least you'll get a good view of people just like i also feel like lego had like this surplus of teal pieces and they were like how can we incorporate these into as many sets as possible teal door you know they're Just probably because. like we're making a new color how do we make it profitable teal everywhere well it looks what? good though that's it, it it's does weird. really that's because partially because they're using it also in the background picture like in the mountains in the back you can see it's the same shade of teal which makes the teal door mm. look more attractive yeah and teal goes well with the winter setting it yeah, does. It... it really does. It's a cool color. I'm sorry. It was right there. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even originally a pun, but I'm all But the, the combination sets are great because you have your snowmobile. And the snowmobile, mm-hmm. I think, actually is really well made, I think. Or, no, wait, no it's, it's not a snowmobile. It's a bobsled. One. It's a bobsled, isn't it? So um, it's a snowboat. I snow wouldn't know the difference. I live in Florida. I don't really know the technical names for stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's actually... Uh, it's hard to tell, but I think it might be a bobsled. If so, that's props to the people who made it. And then the next one, you have like your little winter cottage, and you have like a what is that, an abominable snowman or something? I think so. Yeah, the, yeah, it looks like a Rick Souls reject. That's kind of That went cool. from like <laughs> one to ten in a heartbeat. It's like, oh, here we, it's like extreme sports. Here we have your bobsled and, and, and a nice little porch. Here we have an abominable snowman about to eat the damsel in distress outside a cottage. 
here we have a house that's part of the ski resort mountain. <laughs> wow. With a random keep... owl. <laughs> uh, yes. That owl is really mention. good looking, though. Like, it's a cute owl. Yeah, it's, it's really good. But nice it's build. And... The owl probably <laughs> mutates into the Yeti, let's be honest. I just now noticed this. This is so cruel, but there's actually a patch of ice right outside the door of the house. <laughs> You're right. Oh gosh, so, this house that. is designed this is for torture on vacation. <laughs> like, this is a setting for a comedy. Like, oh, <laughs> we got this wonderful place at the ski resort. <laughs> then they get the one carved into the mountain. You flip at the door. There's constant thudding as people are just skiing over the house. <laughs> There's so much that we could do with this. I There's mean, so, that song could do this. This is another one that's like I ripe for a conspiracy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could totally do a, something on that set. I, I'll also like, in the background, there's supposed to be someone skiing, but it, they look like a Roblox uh, character <laughs> right next to the house. It's like, man, that's some they glorious do. 1080p resolution oof, Lego. Oof, oof, oof. Just, I couldn't even no, know that he's, was a person. As he's, as he's going down the, the house, as he hits the window, it's oof, oof, oof. As he's hit it. <laughs> it's just oof sounds constantly. <laughs> and, then, and then he hits oh, the snowman. What a beautiful to go to sleep with. <laughs> Very dangerous wow. house. I like it. Looks yeah. hot with pearl. Perfect vacation. <laughs> what an uninspired use of the tree pieces in the rebuilds. <laughs> I know they should have re- incorporated it into the the buildings. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a pretty nice set overall. All three yeah. like rebuilds as well, and yeah, not much more to say about it except there's plenty more to say about it in the future. Not out of ten, would thunk 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 again. <laughs> Okay, so after this, we got news of Lego celebrating 60 years of the release of the Lego brick with uh, promotional sets, miniature Mm -hmm. builds, and yeah, I'd say they all look really, really good, and they just remind you of like when Lego was simpler and yeah, a simpler time, a fun, a funner time. Uh... Micro mementos of the eighties, what we all needed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lego really does have a thing for the eighties, don't we all? <laughs> Pretty Should much. <laughs> yeah, it looks but... good. I think. It does. Happy sixtieth. Uh, anniversary Lego, congrats! Lego brick, Lego brick. I feel they like started out with other things. Well, I yes, yeah. Lego as we know it. Yeah, like it's altogether pretty sweet. Like just how they decided to go back to the kind of more original sets they had and. Like I like the yellow castle. Yeah, still it, like it's, it's just hokey looking, but it's ama- it's just <laughs> awesome. It mm. looks like it's made out of cheese. Uh, what are they? Popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> like it looks like a kid's craft. Like, it looks kind of like a sand one castle. Thing... It does. I yeah, feel it's like... got that the bit of charm to it. Also, the photo quality helps to sell the authenticity. <laughs> Man, I would but, be a like, lot more enthused about this set if these things weren't just a bit before my time. <laughs> um, like, if this thing. was Bionicle and um, Alpha Team and Adventurers sets up here, man, I'd buy it. <laughs> like, we got 1980s space with the Lego movie. They kind of did the same kind of pirate set. Um, yeah, but... 2000... 11, I think, sometime around 2013, I believe, maybe. I don't know. But it, it had the same kind of theme, color scheme to it. Yeah, but actually, a yellow castle was not done since, like, then. So, yeah, like... Hmm. 
hasn't since been the done 80s, since, so. the, since dinosaurs roamed the earth. And mm-hmm. TVs were black and white. Yeah, those two just, So it just really pops out. This also, it's a yellow castle. Blues. How many other castles are yellow? <laughs> yeah, Literally no, none sure. ever. Ever. Besides this. Maybe King Midas's. I need to Google this. <laughs> Maybe one Google made out of the castles. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's a pretty good like set for Lego to be pr- promotional. And it's all nice, many detailed sets. Mm hmm. If these sets were my childhood personally, I'd buy it right up. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. googled Yellow Castle, and the first thing to come up was a Lego brick. Mm hmm. <laughs> Nailed it. But. Yeah, that's about all the time we have for this segment. In the next segment, we have a game being hosted by Clunda. Do you care to tell us what it is, or do you want to wait? I don't actually know if this one has a name, but we have done it before. It's the description game. Ah, the set description game. We do not know if it has a name. No, it doesn't. (laughs) Excellent. So stay tuned for that. Have a question or comment you'd like us to answer on the podcast? Just send us an email at thebccpodcast at gmail.com. And welcome back to the BCC Podcast. In this segment, we are going to be playing a game of set descriptions hosted by Clunda. Clunda, do you want to explain the rules to everyone? I would love to. So I have about four or five sets, and I'm going to read off the descriptions, leaving out proper nouns like names and the set name, obviously. (laughs) So I will read it off to them, and they will have to guess what set this description is from. Are you all ready? Oh, yes, Um, I am. Before we do that, let's try and read off the current scoreboard. Oh, yes, yes. Whip out your right now, what? we have LQ at 23 points, Leo at 14 points, Glenda at 14 points, myself at 22, Mace at 11 and a half, Starts playing Board at 21 and a half, and Ryan at 2, and all guests Yay. at 2. You can do it, Ryan. <laughs> You're tied with the guests, man. You, you can beat them. Man, I would be in last. I'm so close to being last. If it weren't for... <laughs> yeah. Hey, shush. <laughs> All right. Then. Okay. Are we good to yeah. go? Yes. yes. I'm ready to feel so. horrible. Go. Okay. I'm ready to get points. <laughs> okay, first set. Oh, no. Magneto and Deadpool are attacking Wolverine with their um, helicopter. Deadpool's helicopter. <laughs> That's not the name of the set. Um. <laughs> Help him to escape. Wait, sorry. Um, um, wait, it's... what did you say it was? Can you Dead, wait, Chopper Wolverine, Wolverine Chopper Showdown. That's that's it. Um, what was that? Wolverine Chopper Showdown. That is Forgot. correct. Ah, I own that set. Like man, yeah. I don't. I I don't know the name. I never remember the names. <laughs> not specifically. You got one of the coolest superheroes and one of the most annoying superheroes of all time in a single <laughs> set. It sounds like a great I didn't know Magneto was so annoying, but... I thought you said Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, uh, Deadpool, well, yeah. Magneto, Wolverine. Oh. They're, they're all in there. All three are either superheroes or villains, depending on where your morality lies. <laughs> That's true. Sounds so edgy. Mm-hmm. The X-Men are full of faux edge because they got popular in the 80s. <laughs> oh, God. We're talking about 80s all day today. (laughs) (laughs) So, like the beginning. (laughs) All right. Okay. Ready for the next one? Yes. Uh Okay, this one will probably also be really fast. Naida has magical water powers and feels most at home when immersed in her luxurious. Finds Naida's golden diary. 
and sit her on the daybed as she writes down all her thoughts and feelings. This sounds like Great. a Chima set. Sounds like an elf <laughs> set. New it's definitely new elves, elves, but... And help her mix them in the crystal jars. Then take a shower behind the beautiful waterfall. Okay. <laughs> Would you believe I've never actually read the name of a single elf set ever? Would you believe well, I've never taken a shower <laughs> behind a beautiful waterfall before? No. <laughs> I have no Jerry's idea what like... this is. Let me go. Let me go take a look at all my elf elf sets. <laughs> um, so th- there's like a few options here. There's like there's one with a boat. I don't. I haven't looked at enough of like this is almost as bad as Duplo because it's not like I'm looking through the catalog of um of these sets at any point. <laughs> uh, like, aren't you though? No. Uh... Maybe, yeah. I love the color pink. <laughs> so, I've literally never read the name of a single set ever, so I couldn't even oh, begin yeah. to guess. I still have to see the Netflix show. I have to. I need to do that review on it. I don't. Want yeah, to didn't you start it. watching that first episode? I I did, and the guess? logic in the prologue was so bad, uh, and <laughs> as was my internet, that I did not get to finish it. But I should. I have. So I don't know what this is. It. Maybe. Maybe either just don't give anyone a point. Maybe give Mal a half a point. Or (laughs) wait, wait, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess because there's, there's like two sets. There's one where the girl is in the boat, blue water, water boat, and yeah, the dragon, the (laughs) what um. (laughs) Uh oh yeah the. This is the uh, this is the barrel uh, river chase from The Hobbit, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> and the princess is so, of course that um dwarf with the terrible Thorin? beard. Is it? Is it Thorin? Whichever one was the... in jail and had the elf girlfriend. Uh, Thorin is not the name of the set. Rat. <laughs> Could have so sworn a... it would be. Well, it's Dragon not... Water Adventure, or whatever, and. <laughs> I show you that Dragon Water Adventure, whatever, is not the name. Water Dragon takes flight. No. <laughs> I should just do all the girly sets. It's perfect. Elven Bubble Bath. <laughs> That's honestly closer. No. Mythic Red Dragon. By the no. Chamber of the Moonlight. Ah, uh, no. Sonic Forces. No <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Sanic Unleashed. Uh, I really want to say yes to that, but no. Oh, so we're close. <laughs> I'll just take the point, like Clenda. Just Elven Bathhouse. The... Just kill me. No. <laughs> okay, so do you want me to reveal the title? Sure. Yeah. Are you about, do you give up, Mel? I mean... Mel's pretty... Upset about this. <laughs> curse you. I curse you all. <laughs> Using my own ploys against me. Well, you're not you're not cursing me specifically? Now I feel slighted. I'll curse you all specifically later. Uh, <laughs> Direct. No, I feel so it doesn't count if it's not to your face. Alright. Let's let's hear it. Naida's spa secret. What? What? What's the name, all right? Purple, it's the name of it. (laughs) Can you say that name again? Naida. A-I-D-A. I I say it like that because my original Lego message board game name was Naida. N-I-E-D-A. And I had blue hair on that. This character, Naida, also has blue hair and has one letter difference. So obviously Lego elves ripped off of me. So I'm bitter. <laughs> You're bitter. Uh, there's so many <laughs> jokes that I can make that I shouldn't. Um, what? Well, this is horrible. <laughs> I still don't have a single point. Yeah, the set's horrible too. As well. uh, the name of the set is terrible. Yeah, that's, that's... It, it looks like it sounds. <laughs> all right well 
what else do you got for us? Okay. Yes. I need a point. <laughs> Be Commander Blunks, etc. To clean the slow-mo time blade with G's... Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, um... What? Um, this is... Featuring oh. stud shooting This is almost as bad as that one time when you guys are like, blank saves the blank on blank with the blank. Well, you descri- find out what this set is, guys. What? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jay's <laughs> Ninja Striker? I don't know. Not quite. Featuring oh, stud no. shooting headlight style elements, filled out lightning bolt booster elements, and big wheels. Is it is it part of... Um, is it part of that big combination thing? I don't... The big... I don't... What's it? I I don't remember what it's called. No, Combiner Wars? No, I don't Um, know. Jay's VTL... Whatever. No. I didn't even know Uh, Jay had a car. He might be fighting someone with a car. Oh, you know, a vehicle with wheels. I over with a car. Wait, wait, is... Wait, wait, is this... Is this Jay's car? No, I mean like it's not a car. uh, Because I, because I own this set. If Um, I'm thinking it's the right one, so it's the big set with the huge wheels and has Garmadon on top, and it has like the the leader skull villain guy. (laughs) I'm afraid it isn't. No. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding. I know what set it is. Is I just need to remember the name. Samurai VXL. No. I, I know no, the set. I just on. need to remember. Mace, if you describe it clearly enough and it's obviously the right one, I'll probably give you the Okay, point. it's that big anaconda wheel. I'm uh, not anaconda. Ven- the, the red and orange ones, whatever you call them. Um, vermilion, vermilion. It's that big vermilion wheel thing with jig. It is in the vermilion age. However, that is not the set. Uh, uh, Dawn of Iron Doom? No. What? Come on. It's, it's that, that other one. like Dawn of Iron Doom. Well, I'm guessing off of the sets I know from that time period. I'm, I'm Ninja, not LQ, black, okay? um, blacksmith thing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add right. in a word. Beat okay. Commander Blunk's Vermilion Racer to, climb this, to claim the slow-mo time blade with Jay's... Mm. Mm. Ninja Fighter. Um... No, it is not Ninja Fighter. I think someone guessed that. Yeah, I guessed um... something that was very close to that. They call it Ninja Strike. Is it though? <laughs> is it that one um, set we discussed on the podcast? Is this a new? Is this newer? Is it Desert Lightning? Yes, it is. There you go. Okay, I had I did not remember that name. I never the got Vermilion that. The Vermilion Racer. Wait, uh, is that, the set Vermilion? It. Is it red? It's um, during the the it's during the, the hands of time. Of the Vermilion and a constant tip set. Oh, you can tell from the MacGuffin being named the. Uh, never mind. I thought I thought time. this set was red, so never oh, mind. Man, like, I'm glad LQ wasn't here for this. LQ would have gotten this in LQ before without like, us. Oh, it's this. Yeah, yes. that he would have been done. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm never doing Ninjago again with LQ. He, just, he got every single one right that time. I put Ninjago Seriously. in. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I actually very deliberately did this one while LQ was not around. You should too have done good at all this. Ninjago just to spite him. Be too good at Ninjago, boss man. As fun as that would be, then no. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm ready for an- another one just to okay. keep the points rolling. Oh, I'm ready until I get a point. I ain't stopping until. <laughs> okay. But after you could stop. <laughs> yes, yes. As soon as I get a point, we can all go home. Okay, Orion, are you ready? Oh, yes. No. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Stupid internet. <laughs> you can't blame your internet for all your problems. Well, Unless the internet is problem. malicious. If the internet is malicious in intent, this then is. it can be blamed. Maliciously delicious. Mm. Come on. <laughs> it's the perfect chance. I, I know, but... I don't know why. Okay, here we are. Pr- Some malware. Protect Nighton from the stone monster with a four-in-one featuring flip-out wings with four flick missiles. Two Nighton Castle. No. Wait, the flip-out out wings? What? No. Wait, could you see again? <laughs> my inter- my internet cut out for a bit. And <laughs> the bike. 
includes three minifigures and one scannable shield. Oh, come on. Oh, and man. one what shield? This is shield? the only one I... The, um... One scannable shield. This is That's the only one I have a chance of getting. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I also deliberately did this one while Ford was not around. My horrible <laughs> connection prevents me from hearing the entire description, so... <laughs> uh, would you like me to repeat it? One more time. Protect Nighten from the stone monster with the four-in-one featuring flip-out wings with four flick missiles, two minifigure cockpits, dual lances, detachable wing jetpack, and the bike. So... <laughs> three minifigures and one scannable shield. Because those are the best bits. I don't understand the scannable shield. What does that even mean? Each shield, you like, scan it on your um, Nexo Knights video game app, and it gets gets you that power inside the game. Oh, did, so it's a Nexo Did Mace yeah. yeah. say the Knight and Castle? Um, I, or, I've already I guessed Knight and Castle and the Full Treks. Mm-hmm. What else is 4 and 1? It has to be from the newer... Uh, newer... Wave, I guess. Is it um, Lance's? No, not Lance. I mean Clay's aerial fighter thing. No. <sighs> mm. No. Um. Oh man, I I've seen these sets. That I just I can't. I'm bad with Lego set names. I'm bad with names. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you the names of all the sets I actually own. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, man. Man. I could get this if I only had a slightly better memory. Do you, do you know what the set <laughs> is? I know all the sets they do have. <laughs> so I could guess it eventually if I could remember the names of everything. Okay, do you know what this particular set looks like? Mm, not really. Okay. <laughs> is it like is it What's um it? the headquarters no oh What's it? man i didn't Axel's, think so um i was thinking axles like, but i can't remember what it looks like yeah it has to be like i don't know the name of it now but now i i can see it it's axles it was in a uh, lego magazine one time they did like a stupid comic on it but Axel has a vehicle. Um, uh, it's a, it has like two drills at the front, I think, like Just giant I don't drills. Think Axel and, ever had a, yeah. Oh, you mean the big drills? Uh, yeah, like they're like power miners mm-hmm. kind of drills. and Axel's Rock Crusher? No. Um, oh man, thought that was the name of the set track. Yeah, like Axel's drill fighter. It kind of looked like a triangle-ish. I'll just tell you, it is not Axel. It is not Axel's set. Yeah, you can tell from the description that it's a different person who I can't say because it might tip someone off. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh. Oh man. Lance's twin jouster? Yes. <laughs> yes! Wow. Yes! Nice Mace. face. You, you see, Clenda you mentioned that it. they had um, twin pull out lances. I would have mentioned it, but then one of you would have guessed it before me. <laughs> <laughs> so I. Uh, I, uh, I stopped yes. that Okay, power, we can stop I now swear. that I got a point. <laughs> <laughs> All okay, right. That is the last one. Do we have an updated scoreboard? Yes, um, that would leave us with LQ at 23, Leo at 14, Klunda at 15, Malaris at 24, Mace at 12.5, yes. Ford at 21.5, Orion at 2, <laughs> and all guests at 2. You see, my 12.5 sounds bad until you hear the 2s. Hey! Wow. <laughs> Beating up on Orion. Come on, guys. It's like, it's you bad enough I beat myself up for the videos. It's like, now I get beat up by my friends. Yeah, but you, you have a very valid excuse, though. That's why it works. Because you've been speaking gone for, of, like, nine months of the 11. I, I, speaking of Orion beating himself up for videos, 
we probably, well, by now we've already released it at the time of the podcast, but Orion has a Patreon exclusive video coming mm. up, and so we want to think. It'll probably actually be released uh, tomorrow morning. I, I have to. Well, uh, the podcast is not being released. Oh. Yeah, as of ele- at, I'm very it will tired be on right December first, in all likelihood, <laughs> even though you will be listening to this after December first. <laughs> so yeah, we'd like to thank Waj and Gidera for their amazing support. Like yeah, You're and all the best. we have a lot more Patreon exclusive content that is being produced right now. And oh yes. Just having, like, small donations would be amazing. Like, the constant donations are going to help us be able to produce constant, you know, content. content. Yes. Constant content. Sounds like a tweet. <laughs> constant and quality content. So, again, thanks to you patrons and, like, you don't really know how much this means to us. It's really been quite amazing with what we've been able to do with you know actual money. your support <laughs> <laughs> but that would probably wrap it up for today like any of you have closing comments no, i'm glad really. ryan was not fired i'm glad that <laughs> happened <laughs> <laughs> Now so I will have money for things like Lego boats. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's great. You mean so Lego for... boat keychain to hang from your neck? <laughs> All right. So for Clunda, Mace, Orion, and myself, Malaris, we thank you all for watching, and we will see you on the next podcast. Have a good one. Farewell, all. Goodbye, everyone.